What's up guys, welcome back to my channel once again. Uh, this is day two in Zurich. I'm still in my old t-shirt, I know that. I just woke up, but I want to show you how does it feel like to be in Zurich and when you have a, you know, a space like this, right outside the apartment where I'm staying. So this is the view. So this is the like the whole mountain view. That's where the, you know, this is the local neighborhood in Zurich. This is the typical houses, they have it here. The mountain what you see right there that's the highest peak in zurich it's called utilberg on this side i can clearly see the alps from here uh those you know those icy mountains like those white lush ones i can see it from here but anyways my friend was kind enough to let me in and i'm staying in this apartment all right let's start the day i just took a shower i want to show you something really interesting i've never seen this look at this this is their plugs like where you plug it Whoa. I don't know. Also, I think uh, this is very local and typical of here in Switzerland. The buttons, they actually are like this. Like, yeah, they work like this. Huh. Alright All right, guys, so I'm on the street, I'm actually standing on a national highway which actually connects to, this goes straight to the Basel and other cities, in fact the capital also, you actually go straight from here. One of the prominent reasons I'm standing right at this spot is because this building what you see is the tallest building in the whole of Switzerland and it's unbelievable. I know when I come from Mumbai and a lot of other big cities, mega mega cities, they have such a big huge buildings and when you think of a Switzerland with, uh, this is comparatively like kind of small, so local people here in Switzerland really appreciate it and there are a lot of offices inside so from here on you see the whole landscape so I, I'm staying right there somewhere there and uh, that's the old town of the Zurich and I don't know if this is new or not but that's where the main downtown is so I'm gonna take you guys there we're gonna talk some facts and then that's how the day is gonna go on all right let's go all right guys I'm gonna share six fun facts about Zurich as well as it applies for Switzerland in whole. So starting from number one, you see these water fountains? Yes, these are all over Zurich and this makes Zurich as the one of the cities which has the most water fountains which is drinkable. That's amazing. I'm actually going to try it now. All right, so the fact number two. Um, what I'm about to show you is Europe's biggest and the largest clock face, which is right here. You see this? I've showed you guys in the last video also, but yesterday I got to know about this. In fact, it's actually bigger than the Big Bang in UK. So rest of the facts is something which I can only talk about with you guys. So the third fact is the cheapest item in year 2009 in Zurich was an egg for 32 cent. And that was the least expensive item on the whole list. And that was incredible to know. Fact number four is uh, I don't know how many of you guys know Mr. Kamprad, he is Kamprad, he's the owner of IKEA and he's a person who is the richest resident of Switzerland. What I know as far as like he was, a, he's a Swedish guy since IKEA is a Swedish company. So I didn't know this fact. Right, let's go to the next one. So next fact is this in Switzerland means one. It's not, it's of course it's all good but at the same time it's also called one. So usually people when they go to bars they sometimes use like this that means people over here they understand it's, it's number one all right so the last fact what i'm gonna put in front of you guys is latin is not a prevalent language it's not spoken in this country but you will still find them on their stamps on their coin so latin actually named it as confide ratio helvetia actually i have some coins i want to show you guys so the official language of switzerland is german italian romansh and french definitely four of them but as i said latin is not spoken here that's why the abbreviations you will find when you're booking a flight tickets hey, or on online. YouTube. Hi sir, yeah. Huh? You're there. Hey, he's the, he's the man. He's the man. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right, so getting back yes, to the point. Huh? Getting back to the point. Getting back to the point. The abbreviations what you find on online when you're booking a flight or anything about Switzerland, that's why you find CH. That's where the abbreviation comes from. All right guys, this is the end of day two. I just got back home. Super tiring day. I know I did not record much today, but definitely I'm, I'm trying to record as much as I can. All right, let's go for the next day. Day three. Juice. <laughs>